The JARC system controllers manage key functionality of the JARC 650 series integrated IP communication system, enabling communication and reporting between intercom endpoints, public address components, help point units, third-party devices and interfaces. They provide call control and operations management, reporting and maintenance functions. JARC offers three kinds of system controllers. The TCH2MX can support up to 80 endpoints. It includes the JE Linux and JCCP server software. It can administer a large number of the JARC system software modules and interfaces. It facilitates almost all core functions of the JARC's IP communication system. It also supports high definition audio and consumes very little power. It also comes with a 500GB hard drive and 2GB of RAM. The JSC5L system controller shares many of the same features as the TCH2MX, but it can support more than 80 endpoints. It also has a segregated airflow design for optimal cooling. It comes with a 1TB hard drive and 8GB of RAM. The JSC5L AEC is the same controller, except that it contains the JARC acoustic echo cancellation software. Optional software modules can be added to enhance system functionality, allowing for third-party integration to building and security management, access control, CCTV, and telephone systems. With a pair of system controllers, and the JARC's high availability package, we can also create redundant controllers. Allow me to elaborate more on redundant controllers. The primary purpose of redundancy is to reduce the risk of entire system failure. In the instance that a primary controller fails due to a hardware or software failure, the secondary controller will automatically activate and connect with the endpoints to ensure continuous system operation. From JARC's on-site redundancy testing, with a system encompassing 1000 endpoints, it is verified that the secondary controller can come online in less than one minute. The redundant controller system also supports distributed networks, which can be located at different sites. Having the primary controller located at site A, it is able to manage all the endpoints within each site. In the situation where this controller may fail, either of the other controllers can act as a secondary controller and immediately activate and connect with each site's endpoints. If a situation occurs where a site has been completely disconnected from the primary controller, the secondary controller in that site will activate and immediately connect with the endpoints within that site until the failure has been fixed. If a master should fail or be unanswered at a remote site, the call can be routed to alternate sites on the network. We hope you have found this video on the JARC system controllers informative. Thank you for watching.